you can teach a student a lesson for a day, but if you can teach him to learn by creating critical thinking, he will continue the learning process as long as he lives. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Gavin Connolly. I am one of the lead mentors in Going Places. I will be your presenter for the day. Now, let's revisit that quote. You can teach a student a lesson for a day, but if you can teach him to learn by creating critical thinking, he will continue the learning process as long as he lives. For me, that's very empowering because that's what education is about. It's not, it's not about telling people the answers, but it's about developing understanding and developing uh, critical thinking, which is very, very important. That's what we want to do within Going Places, is to try and support you develop critical thinking. We've all had positive and negative experiences within education. I myself had a mixed, uh, a mixed experience within education. I left school at 16 and went out onto the building sites, and then at 20 years of age, the recession came. So I had to go back to the college and do some courses to get myself back into employment. And I ended up going on to Ulster University to do a degree in youth work. And that's when I started to think of the importance of critical thinking, being able to think for yourself. And that is something that we will later touch on within the presentation. So I'd like to introduce you to some of my colleagues. They're working extremely hard in the background. So if anybody has any questions or queries, please make sure and use the tab on the top right hand corner. OK, so we have Geraldine McVeigh from the Coal Island on Gannon project. She's the lead mentor there. I've already introduced myself. So with Kathleen McYardle, who runs the programme in OMA, and Monica Langan from Straban. So again, you see that wee icon there? It should be in the top right hand corner of your screen. Please submit any questions that you have. There's three of the staff members in the background that will do their best to answer any questions that you may have. So the big question, what is Going Places? Going Places is a mentor-led programme that supports residents from neighbourhood renewal areas to seek and secure education, training or employment through Southwest College. Following your career journey at Southwest College can lead to the achievement of qualifications, enhancing practical skills, employment opportunities and most importantly, personal development. And as we were able to see in the previous slide, Going Places is available in Coal Island, Ungannon, Enniskillen, Oma and Strabane. Now do not worry, we will touch on neighbourhood renewal areas in the next slide, okay? But it's important that we really emphasise that Going Places is a mentor-led programme. The emphasis is on you, okay? The staff are here to support you and your needs every step of the way within education. So is Going Places for you? Are you age 16 plus? not in employment, education or training, live in a neighbourhood renewal area, want to enhance your skills and employment opportunities with a wide range of courses to choose from, from at South, Southwest College, have the support of a mentor throughout your career journey, stay on track with assignments, employment opportunities and financial support. Okay, it's also really important to remember that we do run vocational tasters over the summer period and that there will help you make the right career choice. So at the minute, if you go onto our Facebook page, Going Places, you will be able to see that in July, we will be running digital awareness. So that's to help you get to know your digital device. Very important one with uh, COVID-19 at the minute, know how to homeschool. So trying to support any parents, customer service, sports science, and health and social care. So just to summarize, Going Places is for anybody living within Neighbourhood Renewal. It is open and inclusive for all to join. We, uh, The mentors will give you support every step of the way. And it is important to remember, if you are unsure what course you want to do, just get in touch with any of the team or even sign up to one of the vocational taste tasters and that will help you. OK, so we have spoken a wee bit about Neighbourhood Renewal. OK, so you're going to get a wee bit of an understanding. So for within Enniskillen, Neighbourhood Renewal is basically the Devonis Ward. So the Devonis Ward starts at Kilmacormick 1 and goes the whole way out to Wimble Heights, Fernie Rice, Coles Hill, 
and includes the likes of Rosario Church Road and most of the town centre. But again, if you're unsure, my details as well as all the other staff members will be in the very end slide. Just drop us a text, an email, get in touch, and we will be able to get in contact with you. But uh, Kathleen McGardle is going to come on from OMA and let you know a wee bit about uh, neighbourhood renewal within the OMA area. Thanks, Gavin. Hi, folks. My name is Kathleen McCardle, and I am the lead manager on the Going Places programme in OMA. I work with residents from the following areas, from Johnson Park, from Gallows Hill, O'Kean Park, Colmore Park, Strathroy, Mullochmore, and Campsie. So please don't hesitate to contact me. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks. Thanks very much, Kathleen. Next up, we've Geraldine from uh, Coal Island, Dungannon. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Geraldine McVeigh, and I'm based at the Dungannon campus, and I cover the neighbourhood renewal areas in Coal Island and Dungannon. So what I'm going to do is run through the areas with you. We'll start off with Coal Island. We have the town centre, Anaher Road, the Traveller site, Morn Avenue, Morn Crescent, Lockview Drive, Gorkonus Road and Gorkonus Terrace. Moving on to Dungannon, Fairmount Park, Milltown, Anna Goal, the Balagali Road Housing Estate, which is now known as Anna Shea. So folks, if you have any queries <clears throat> about your eligibility for the programme, don't hesitate to give us a call and our numbers will all be displayed at the very end of the presentation. Thanks. Thanks very Thanks. much. Thanks very much, Darlene. Next, we have Monica from the Straban area. She let you know about neighbourhood renewal there. Thanks, Gavin. Um, my name is Monica Langan and I'm the league mentor for the Going Places in the Straban area. Um, to be eligible for Going Places, as Gavin said, you have to be a resident in a neighbourhood renewal area. And the, the areas in the Straban area include most of the town centre, Drumralla Estate, Fountain Street, Fountain Street, Springhill Park, Parton Drive, Valley Coleman Estate and Lesnafan Park. Also, as Gavin has said, if anyone is unsure if their address falls within the neighbourhood renewal areas, you can get in contact with me directly. Um, as Gavin said, the numbers and addresses and emails will be put up at the end of the presentation and I can check whether or not you're within those addre addresses in the neighbourhood renewal areas. Thank you, Gavin. Thanks very much now, Monica. So guys, as I said, all our details will be at the very end slide. Just get in contact, OK? As we've stated before, programmes open and inclusive to all. We'll work around you. And that brings us on nicely. The benefits of going places is, as we've already said, it's a mentor-led programme. So it's about you. You set the goals, OK? You set the goals that you believe that are that are achievable to make sure that, we can, that you can get them, OK? Not our goals, it's up to you. There's going to be opportunities, whether that's volunteering opportunities, placement opportunities, but we'll endeavour to make sure that there's exciting opportunities for you to progress and to achieve the career that you want. Individual mentoring, as we've touched on already, it's about you, it's not about us, it's about supporting you and your needs. There'll be new experiences, and sometimes, particularly there for if somebody has been out of education for a few years, that new experience will be coming into the college for the first time, getting to meet new friends. Having a positive experience in, in a safe environment, which is very, very important. We we'll ho we'll hope that you can gain, uh, gain confidence and that there can be just through working one to one, getting to know your classmates. We're here to support you every step of the way. One thing that we pride ourselves in is all the staff members take a person centred approach to ensure that your needs are met and that to break down any barriers that you may have. Learning support within your assignments. So we'll, we'll just be with you every step of the way. At the end of the project, you're going to find yourself that you've made achievements, which is really important. Communication, your communication skills will enhance, but not only will you be communicating with us, we'll also communicate on your behalf as well with lecturers, to make sure that you're getting the best support possible. And at the end of the project, we hope that you can find employment or go on to higher level education. And hopefully after all of that, it's been a huge success. So moving forward, you're going to see some of our testimonials that some uh, past participants have done. So this is uh, a young lassie had said who'd done the program within Straban. I completed my level one customer service through going places in Straban in autumn 2019. I then got a job in Poundland with the support of the staff. And then to top it off, I got my driving test in January. I owe a lot to the program. The going places staff, Monica and Angela, 
have been so amazing. They were constant contact through telephone and messenger to make sure we're all doing well. They've also sent in helpline numbers for anyone who may feel scared or anxious. The gears have definitely helped us all stay really positive by sending by sending little quotes on our group daily. They're the loveliest people, and if we need anything, I know we can contact them, and they will definitely do their best to help us in any way. I would recommend this program. It was an excellent stepping stone for me. I'm going to invite Monica back on because the, uh, the Straban program is a wee bit slightly different where you can get uh, dri your driving tests and driving lessons. But Monica will fill you in on that there now. Thanks, Gavin. Um, I'm just going to explain a little bit about the driving element. This element is only available in the Straban area undergoing places. The driving element is part of the overall going places program in Straban. Now that's important. The eligibility that Gavin has gone through, um, that, that makes you eligible to come on the program. You have to meet this eligibility criteria. We only have 24 spaces available for driving. So only 24 of our participants can engage in driving. Before you engage also in the driving element, element you have to participate in a 10 week training program, completing two level one qualifications, one in either customer service or health and social care, and the other qualification being employability. Once the 10 weeks have been completed, your mentor, that being myself, will help you apply for your provisional license. Once your provisional license comes back, that's when your lessons will commence. Each of our 24 participants who, who will be involved in the driving element receive 28 funded driving lessons under the Going Places program. Now, the, the, uh, they will actually learn by, with a qualified driving instructor, but the driving instructor will be appointed by the Southwest College. Participants also then get support with their driving theory. Each will have the driving theory test funded by the Going Places program also. They will be supported by myself, the mentor, giving tips and guidance on how best to pass their theory under the driving element. Again, once the driving theory is passed, the Going Places program will fund the participants' practical test. It's just good to note that the success rate over the past two years has been very good in the driving element of the program. Each year we have had 50% or above, so that's 12 participants or more have achieved their driving test, which is which is an excellent outcome. So I'll hand back to Gavin now. Thank you, Gavin. Thanks very much, Monica, indeed. OK, so as you can see, the, the programme is slightly different in certain areas, but the one core thing that ties the whole programme together is that it's mentor led. We are there to support you. And the best thing is you're signing up to get support within going places. But you're also signing up to the college to do some of the courses within there. So we can support you whether you're looking to do hairdressing, barbering, beauty, engineering, sports, doesn't matter what course you're doing. Going places is an added on bonus that you're going to get support with your course uh, and anything else that's going on with on your personal life. So going places mentors will be able to support you with one to one mentoring to help you overcome any barriers to help you achieve your goals. OK, so some of them barriers may be that you've been out of education a long time. You know, it could be around transport, whatever. We will do our best to help and support you to break down them barriers. Support with gaining employment. So we'll help you CV building, job searches, application forms, interview preparation, and of course, your first initial stage of employment. So it's not just that you find employment and you're out of the programme. We will support you with them first initial stages as you transition within the employment. Support within education and training, online application, financial forms, coursework, and of course, placement opportunities, because getting that sort of experience is really, really important to try to help you get within employment. And again, Sherban has already let us know about the, the driving opportunities. So we'll go back to the last bit about testimonials. And as you can see that in previous experiences, people have found this program a real benefit to them because we're able we're able to support their needs, whether that's through volunteering. So the Going Places program is a great facility for anyone willing or wanting to learn more, or even to help them feel less isolated within their community. 
by getting engaged within volunteering. The fact that the mentor is so supportive and knowledgeable and available at all times is brilliant. Absolutely nothing that you ask is considered silly or stupid. I have achieved so much from my involvement in this programme, and I hope that it continues to assist and help residents from neighbourhood or neal areas. I continue to tell people about the project, and I try to get them to meet the mentors. So again, any questions or queries, we've said it at the start, don't be afraid to get them in. I can see that there has already been a few brought in, and we'll do our best to answer them today. So moving forward, we bit about student life at South West College. There's loads of clubs and societies as they're really important within for student life because that's going to help you with your communication skills and also socialising. As much as you, we all have to do plenty of work, it's good also to get the right balance of socialising. So some of the clubs that is available within the college is gaming, esports, LGBT, LGBTQ+, Christian and volunteering hub. But again, we're not just restricted to that, we're always open to new ideas. The sports academy teams include Gaelic football, soccer and futsal, and there's always a lot more sports as well available. And uh, we've had the privilege of having two All-Ireland winning teams this year. The men's Gaelic football team won the Higher Education Championship final, while the men's soccer team won the Rustler Division 3 title. So huge achievements. So if you're thinking about sports, very good college to get involved in. So we've, the college prides themselves within pastoral care. Okay, so there's plenty of support within the college. There's free confidential counselling services available to all students on campus, and that's provided by Inspire Students. And there's also the access to Inspire Students Digital Support Hub. But of course, when you're involved as well within going places, our mentors are here to support you. That's not just to support you with your academics, with anything else that's going on. We are here to break down the barriers to make sure that you can thrive within education, and more importantly, feel safe and have a very enjoyable experience. So the big question is, how do you apply for the course? Well, please just go to www.swc.ac.uk and click the apply button. But again, there will be people on here today that just aren't 100% sure what they want to do. That's where the likes of the vocational tasters over the summer are very, very simple. It's three or four hours a day for four, uh, for four to six weeks, and that will give you a taste of what the course is going to be like. So it'll help you make your decision. And of course, as we've said previously, our details are at the end of the slide. Get in touch with the staff. We will try our best to help you pick whatever courses uh, meet your needs. Now, so we have uh, a couple of questions already coming in. So if anybody else has any other questions, please get them in. So the first question, can I join going places in Serban to get my driving test? Monica, would you like to answer that, please? Thanks, Gavin. Um, the answer to that question is no. You can't just join and do your driving test and driving lessons. You have to participate in the full programme. So that includes the 10 week training programme where you complete your level one qualification. That also means too that you have to live within a neighbourhood renewal area to be eligible for your driving. You also must be over the age of 17 as provisional licences cannot be issued to anyone under the age of 17. And also you have to be unemployed or economically inactive. So it's just not that you come on and do your driving. You have to participate in the full programme undergoing places. Thanks, Gavin. No problem at all, Monica. Thanks very much. We have another question then. Also, will this impact my benefits? So I'll let Kathleen answer that from Oma. Thanks, Gavin. The simple answer to your question about will it affect my benefits is if you are doing a part time course, no, it will not affect your benefits. But if you are considering doing a full time course, it may have an impact. But we will be very happy to discuss all options with you on a one to one basis and also explore all avenues of financial support. Thanks very much, Kathleen. Um, we have a third question in Can you get support for doing any course? OK, so I'll let Geraldine answer that. Thanks, Gavin. Yes, just want to let you know that support is available for all courses offered at the college. So at the college, we offer courses from level one right through to the two degree level. So no matter what level of a course you're doing, the support is there for you throughout. Thanks very much, Geraldine. OK, so thanks everybody for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. And again, 
on the very last slide, all our details are there. Do not be afraid to get in touch. Staff are all lovely. Nobody's very intimidating at all. And it's one of them things, take a risk. If you, particularly if you've been out of education for a, for a few years, take a risk of trying to go back. See if there's something out there that you would like to do. The staff will support you every step of the way. Plus, you'll enjoy it. It's a bit of fun. Okay? So, now that we have no more questions,